Hi, uh, I like, uh, thanks for watching this video. I like to show you uh, some uh, video here regarding the uh, real time clock interfacing with uh, PIC 16F 877A microcontroller. Uh, real uh, DS1307 is the RTC. Here you can look at the circuit here. This is my microcontroller and this is my RTC. Uh, here is the um, uh, crystal that 32.786 kilohertz and I made it a little bit simple. I did not draw everything here but you can look at this. There are two lines connected from microcontroller uh, to this uh, RTC. Uh, here is the uh, main uh, program flow. Uh, program flowchart you can see because I am I like to share the flowchart if we know the flowchart you can convert this to your compiler uh, your um, IDE uh, here at first you need to initialize uh, I2C uh, I just like to mention you that uh, uh, is, uh, you need to communicate with this RTC with uh, I2C protocol of um, um, microcontroller most of the microcontroller has this protocol Okay, here is the first. You need to initialize this I2C protocol in microcontroller first, then initialize the LCD because you need to display the data, and then you need to call a macro or a subroutine to initialize this uh, RTC real time clock. Uh, that means you need to write the predefined value that you want. Then you need to read the RTC value from the memory. I'll show you a separate flowchart for this how to uh, read the RTC, which is slightly complicated. Then you need to display time, date, separate my macro or same macro. So this first thing you need to initialize at the beginning. Then you need to start a forever loop. So forever loop is designed here in order to uh, give user a separate input or ability to change the value. So you need to read the input. Uh, then you will check if there is an input available or not. If there is any change, then you need to update the value with the new variable. Then you need to write this data to the RTC again. Okay, so there is this is a separate macro. Then you need to read the time, display time, read date, read display date. So this is the end of the forever loop. Okay, so which you need to do continuously so that you can see the data in the LCD uh, continuously. Here is the separate uh, that I mentioned that I'll be showing you how to read the uh, macro from the RTC or real time uh, real time clock how to do this one at first you need to start i2c um, then send i2c from microcontroller then send right address even though you're reading you need to start with right address then you need to send zero when you send the zero basically it will set the pointer to the zero zero location of the memory then you need, you need to restart the i2c then again you need to then finally you need to send the read address okay then you can continuously read second minute hour and so on if you want uh, okay, here is the one. Now I like to show you the circuit. Here is the main circuit here. In this case, this is the microcontroller. This is my R2C. Uh, this is my RTC, and this is the LCD that uh, that you'll see the display here. There are three input basically at this moment just to control um, uh, hour, minute, second. I have just three uh, uh, push button switch at this moment. That's why I'm using. But this can be modified. I'm just turning on this one you can see the data here you can see five is the hour minute second second is continuously changing In the date you can see the saturday and one six thirteen just i set some random value now let, let me show you how to change the hour at this moment you can see the five is the hour if i if i want i can change it six seven eight nine i can change it the, uh, i let me change the minute you can see the minute is changing you can see i'm changing the second I can change the second okay so that's all here uh, here is this uh, again a real-time clock and this is the green uh, green wire this two is the I2C data protocol uh, that just connects from microcontroller and the real clock time okay thank you for watching the video